so here beta as of uh, being in ninth standard so today that we will study about the laboratory process of uh, oxygen and their oxides okay yeah so fundamentally that oxygen that is a natural gas which would like to found in free state in atmosphere okay as usually yeah. you know that oxygen that is very essential yeah. for us okay so that means uh, yeah there is a type of mysterious fact that uh, do, uh, do you ever consider that uh, what is the process or by which system that our lungs would like to our lungs would like to miss filter oxygen gas from atmosphere as well you know that there are there are many gases in the atmosphere okay so yes that's a type of mis mysterious fact yes very uh, miss i think that uh, um, a little bit i had uh, read out uh, in a different type of books when i was doing masters so but a little bit that in common man if you would like to ask to any common people that do you know that what is the process or by which way so everyone would like to say no <laughs> yeah so that means here yeah also that scientists are also investigating that yeah now that this concept is also in our observation okay mm. and uh, so here beta we are going to study about the preparation of oxygen fundamentally that oxygen can be made from hydrogen peroxide okay yeah with decom which decomposes slowly to form water and oxygen okay yeah so first thing you have to learn this one oxygen can be prepared from hydrogen peroxide okay so that means what you yeah. have to do that you have to decompose a hydrogen peroxide decomposition process that will only be possible when you will heat any object okay yeah. you can also understand in this way suppose that uh, okay you can also understand uh, that suppose that if you would like to place your hand in in flame okay okay in flame so you would like to see that when the temperature of your hand that would like to be maximum then it then the skin on your hand that would like to that it starts to split from your hand okay that yeah. means then they would like to convert into drop and each uh, means from every part of your hand okay the skin that would like to convert into liquid form and then it would like to leave it would like to leave its surface okay and then okay. It, there will be only bones clear okay so what is happening there yaar suppose that in this condition you can see that at normal temperature that our skin that is stick with our bones okay yeah when you would like to increase the temperature okay so that will be the condition that means you are giving external energy to your hand okay so okay. always remember that when you would like to give external energy then it would like to split the object or whatever type of substance that you are taking okay that would mm. like to uh, convert into its particles okay okay understand yeah great so that means here when you would like to decompose a hydrogen peroxide formula of hydrogen peroxide that is as 2o2 okay so when you will decompose that wait i am i am i am writing on a screen so that will be much convenient for you to understand that okay so here you can see that reaction that is given here a little bit also i am writing in written so that will be much convenient for you to understand hydrogen yeah. peroxide that means h2o2 are you able to see clearly on a screen yeah don't worry about today that today your class is recording clearly okay and everything mm -hmm. that you will be able to see on your screen okay <laughs> yeah so h2o2 when you would like to heat with a heat sign that is when you will place triangle okay mm -hmm. above to your arrow okay that means you are heating okay so okay. after heating so it is your reactant it is your hydrogen peroxide hold on give me a second it is your hydrogen peroxide hydrogen hydrogen peroxide yeah hydrogen peroxide also it is known as your reactant okay mm -hmm. it is your reactant okay 
clear it's your reactant okay and then when you would like to heat that then finally that after reaction that when its temperature would like to increase then it will decompose or not yeah when it will decompose then it will convert into water plus oxygen okay okay yeah so a little bit that i am also writing there about this one when always remember that when you will write any reaction beta don't forget to write their component okay that means yeah. here you are decomposing as to o2 that is what it is that means suppose that if you will not write that one then how is it possible that your teacher would like to understand that what it is because that when your teacher would like to check your copy or your questions then in that condition either your teacher will not be able to understand any else that means that means indirectly i mean to say that uh, he or she would like to be able to know everything but you have to explain each and everything to her okay or him okay, okay. then he or she would like to give you marks yes so that means here hydrogen peroxide you are you are uh, heating so that means uh, when uh, that means the process that is uh, that is known as decomposition after decomposition it would like to convert into water water okay. and here is oxygen okay yeah yeah and when you are writing oxygen so oxygen gas symbol you have to mention over there okay okay yeah it's a gas symbol okay either you can write their gas symbol okay either you can write simply g okay and here h2o that will be in liquid form okay it will be in liquid form l okay and as usual that h2o2 that will be in aqueous form okay now one more important thing that what is aqueous okay yeah you can ask that to me that sir what is aqueous so aqueous that means substance substance which which dissolve in water okay okay understand yeah yeah beta whatever that i am writing sorry for your yesterday inconvenience beta actually at that time but it will never happen again whatever you would like to suppose that whatever on your uh, powerpoint or whatever topic will be i'll explain i'll i will explain that on a screen okay and mm -hmm. then we would like to go to powerpoint and then i will ask questions regarding to that one okay yeah. yes so do you understand this one yeah yeah also that beta if there is a reaction okay so chemical reaction that can re uh, that can uh, increase or decrease means what what does it mean it means that uh, you can you will be able to increase the rate of reaction that means how fast the reaction would be or how mm -hmm. slow the reaction would be okay so mm -hmm. fasting or slowing the reaction okay fasting or slowing the rate of reaction okay or mm -hmm. increment you can also understand that increment or decrement of the rate of reaction that is totally depend on catalyst okay on catalyst mm -hmm. now the most important thing is that what's our catalyst so i'm writing here catalyst catalyst that means uh and uh, yeah just see that this substance is mm -hmm. this substance which alter okay mm -hmm. wait hold on by different color you will be able to understand very clearly so that's why i'm changing the color of this one alter that is the important word which alter alter okay alter the rate of reaction okay clear yeah alter means either it will increase or decrease understand yeah great now other example also as you can see that on your screen that they are giving that when manganese okay okay when manganese oxide is added to hydrogen peroxide the mm. bubbles of oxygen are given off okay it is your laboratory process clear yeah 
Yeah. It is your laboratory process. Uh, a little bit better. There is no space, so that's why that I am scrolling down a little bit, and then I'm going to write down that reaction. Yeah, you can see clearly on your screen here. Yes. Yeah. So you can see that when yeah okay okay that's great you can see on your screen that i'm underlining over here which is important suppose that when they would like to ask you laboratory process then you have to write what you're that i am uh, specifying mm -hmm. in brackets yes and underlining also are you able to see whatever i am underlining there yeah great so also beta reaction that means if you want to write uh, i'm writing reaction here in red in color so that you will be you will be able to understand that okay so here yeah. when manganese oxide okay yeah when mgo it's a word equation that will be manganese oxide and added to hydrogen peroxide so where are you typing? No, no, I'm not typing. I'm going to write down. Give me a second. Oh. Yeah. Uh, wait a second. Let me. Oh yes. Magnesium oxide. Magnesium oxide. Magnesium. Uh, can you tell me what is the symbol of magnesium? Uh, magnesium. I don't know. Mag I think it's M. G A M M A. M G M A okay <laughs> just be sure about that one. I know what magnesium is, but I don't know what magnesium. Is. I think it's M A. Magnesium. Yeah. Uh, I think that magnesium oxide that will be M N O two okay. Yeah, that will be MnO2. Yes. Yeah, I thought that uh, you will tell me answer, but you didn't. I think that uh, uh, your teacher also didn't explain that to you. I think that uh, he or she explained that to you, but you forget that. No problem. So I am writing here, beta. So manganese oxide MnO2 MnO2 plus H2O2. Are you able to see where I am writing here on your right hand side? Yeah. And when it will react, okay? So these two are your reactants, okay? These two yeah. are your reactants, okay? Yeah. Yeah. So in that condition, MnO2 plus H2O2, okay? So in that condition, in that condition, uh, Wait, hold on. Okay, uh, I'm going to oxygen gas. That will be, that will be, um, I'm an OH hold twice. Wait, it will be magnesium hydroxide that will form there. Magnesium hydroxide, MN, OH hold twice, and then plus O2. Okay, that will be there. Okay. Yeah. Understand clearly? Yeah. So, you have to understand that uh, you have to understand there that uh, when manganese oxide react with hydrogen peroxide. Mm. Okay? Mm. Yeah. So, in that condition, in that condition, it will be, wait a second, wait a second, uh, I'm thinking about that, uh, about its balancing. Uh, I think it will be. It will be okay. Okay, one second. One second. I'm telling you, wait a second. Balancing three magnesium oxide. A 
is the type of reaction in which one that product and reactants that you have to write there so okay no problem the fundamental that i wrote there one okay i think that so here m n o2 plus h2o that will be m n o h whole twice that means manganese hydroxide plus oxygen gas that you will get there okay okay yes so reaction i wrote there also whatever your reactants and products are there you have to write over there okay and mm. this process is your upward displacement okay okay sorry downwards displacement this process will be your downwards displacement because your gas is collecting upward okay okay yeah process process that is your downwards displacement okay okay downwards displacement displacement you can ask me a question sir how i would like to learn that so if your gas is collecting upward you are saying that yeah gas is collecting here so that means yeah. gas is collecting upward so the process that is your downwards displacement okay, okay. understand yeah yeah and then in that condition yeah so here to make oxygen in laboratory hydrogen peroxide is poured into the conical flask okay containing some manganese oxide the gas produced is collected in an upside down gas jar filled with water as the oxygen is collected at the top of the gas jar that's why the process is known as downward displacement okay and yeah. in that in that condition it would like to push water outside okay okay yeah. instead instead of gas jar and water path a gas syringe could be used to collect the oxygen okay okay yeah because that whatever type of oxygen that would like to come inside into syringe it will be much difficult it would like to trap over there okay and okay. it will not come easily okay? okay so that's why that we use syringe over there understand yes yeah so here beta a little bit uh, means uh, lastly that i can explain that to you so here you can see that the mixture of m and o2 that yes on the thing is yeah whatever figure you are seeing here in this figure the mixture of mno2 that means manganese oxide plus hydrogen peroxide that you are taking here in conical flask okay, okay. there is a uh, there is a, a thermometer that is also attached over it with the with the help of burette okay yeah. and also pipette and also a transferring tube that you are seeing over here okay so in that condition when the reaction would like to be okay then the gas that would like to that would like the whatever fume you are seeing here okay then the gas would like to rise up and then through the transferring tube it would like to transfer and it would like to come whatever bubble you are seeing that the bubbles when yeah, yeah. start to see then you can understand that now oxygen gas is preparing okay and mm -hmm. when oxygen gas yeah clearly oxygen gas bubble that you will be able to see over there okay and then mm -hmm. and then above size when you would uh, above the jar okay above the gas jar you can see that the oxygen gas over there okay yeah and, yeah because and one yeah we have and here that all the jar means the total jar that is balanced over the beehive self okay okay and if as usual you are seeing that the gas is collecting upward so that's why this process is known as downward displacement okay okay do you understand now yeah great now i'm going to refresh that so that we can move to the next page beta Okay. Yes, second. It's refreshing. Yeah. So now move to the next page, page number two. Okay. Yes. Here we are. Okay. Give me a second. Yes. Now. 
Next topic is your metal and non-metal oxide. In some books also that uh, you will be able to see there metallic and non-metallic oxide. Okay, but the but but their meaning that is same. Metallic oxide, non-metallic oxide. That means so when oxygen would like to react with metal, then it will form metallic oxide or non-metallic oxide. Okay. Okay. Yes, metallic oxide. Me suppose that means a little bit. I am writing over here. I am writing over here. Then you will be understand very clearly. So here, firstly, metallic oxide or metal oxide. Okay, metal oxide. I am writing here. I am explaining here the preparation of metal oxide. Okay. So firstly, you have to understand that what will be the process over there. So process is that when metal react with oxygen, okay, oxygen forms metallic or uh, metal oxide, okay. okay. So one example that I am explaining that to you. Firstly, word equation you can write over there. Word equation that will be. Oh, hold on. Give me a second. Word equation you can write that metal, metal plus oxygen. That will form metal oxide. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Now, for example, that one. Example we are taking metal that fundamentally that common metal you can take that sodium okay okay plus oxygen O2 that will give you Na2O okay it is your sodium oxide its name also you have to write over there name is sodium oxide okay one important question that would like to come in your mind that sir na plus o2 okay we are i understanding i am understanding that na that is you are writing that sodium okay wait sodium and plus oxygen okay yeah but in which condition or how you are getting na2o you can simply write there nao but why you are writing Na2O? So now here I am going to explain you that how you are getting Na2O. Okay? okay. How you are getting Na2O? So firstly here you can write that sodium, sodium, and here you can write there oxygen. Okay? Okay. Are you able to see on your right hand side? Yeah. Now you can write their symbols also. Okay. So, 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 it's a symbol is sodium that is Na, okay, oxygen symbol is that is O, okay, yeah, symbol I'm talk, I'm saying, okay, not of, uh, it's a formula, okay, I'm, I'm saying symbol, Na and O, okay, okay, now basic thing is that you have to write their valency, okay, okay, it's a valency is plus one, and its valency is between minus two. Okay. Oh. One more important thing you can ask to me that sir, what is valency, sir? Hold on. So is it like when you have to like uh, what's it called? Uh, yeah. Tell me. Ah, uh, what the word was? Uh, oh no problem, no problem. I'm explaining that to you. Valency fundamentally you have to understand that. The Bala. number. Oh, sorry. Give me. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a second. It will be the. Wait. If I would like to write Does that. Is it have like balance the equation? The what? Does balance mean like you have to balance the equation? No, no, no. Balancing. That's another thing. But uh, here is valency. Valency. That means the number of electrons electrons okay yeah. the number of electrons in the outermost cell okay yeah shell of an atom okay 
of an atom which which will which will which will lose lose gain or share okay the number of electrons in the outermost shell of an atom which will be which will be lose gain or share okay yeah you can also understand this one lose gain or share okay i am explaining this one okay but before that but before that just see here beta here that means no. here you can see that okay 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 i understand that oh my god i have to explain that to you okay lose gain or share just see that sodium sodium atomic number 11 are you seeing that left hand side yes electronic configuration that will be 2 Eight and one. Do you know about what is electronic configuration? Oh, uh, is it like, uh, how like what do you have to add it to make uh, that element? Sorry. Is it the number of protons and electrons? No, 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 no. It is. It 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 is that means electronic configuration. That means arrangement of electrons in different shell. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that means you can see that in first shell there will be two electron. In the second shell there will be eight electron. in the third cell there will be one electron okay so okay. you can see that beta always remember that okay you can see that here in outer cell there is one electron or not yeah so always sodium will lose one electron okay okay yeah when it will lose electron then it will form electro positive Okay. Electro positive ion. Okay. Now you mm -hmm. can now you can ask me one question, sir. What is electro positive ion? So that means when sodium will lose one electron. Okay. Like you can you can write that in this way. Okay. What I am I am saying that I am writing here also. When sodium will lose one electron. Are you seeing that I am writing the same? Yeah. Well, yeah. Then, yeah. Then yeah. it yeah then it will form Na plus okay. We did that in the previous class too, like electron. Yeah, in your eighth standard, I explained that to you. Yes. So here, but clearly you can see that Na plus that is your sodium okay. ion. Okay. Okay. Sodium ion. Yes, because why I am explaining you here in very deep manner because that now when I would like to upload this class, then forever, okay, forever that will be on my channel, you know, and any time that you can go to my channel and any time that you can see it, okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 And then you can see that. Do you understand that? So here yeah. that when sodium would like to lose one electron, okay, then it will form sodium ion okay it is yeah. also known as beta cation okay cation. that means yeah when an element will lose electron then it is it forms cation okay yeah. now next thing is that chlorine cation. we can take example of chlorine okay yeah sorry please pardon me And 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 which color we can choose here? Okay, a little bit highlighted color that should be better. Yeah, here you can see that. Yeah. Next is your chlorine. Okay. Okay. Atomic number seventeen. Okay. Okay. And electronic configuration will be two, eight, and seven. Okay. Okay. now you can uh, you can see that here is here here is seven electron in the outermost cell or not here you can ask me a question sir yes in that condition it will lose seven electron but yeah. no 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 okay it is not possible to lose seven electron you know why okay. because that if it will lose seven electron then the maximum amount of energy that it will required or not yeah 
so but it gains chlorine, it from... but chlorine doesn't have such type of uh, such kind of energy okay yeah. so in spite beta so in spite of losing seven electron what it, it will do it will gain it will gain one electron you know yes and when chlorine will gain one electron that means cl plus e minus plus e minus that means i am adding one electron then it will form cl minus okay yeah so it is your beta it is your electronegative okay Okay. It, it is your chlorine ion, okay? Okay. Chlorine ion, or it is also known as an ion, okay? An ion, yeah. But yeah. It's yeah. So now you can see the beta chlorine, sodium, and chlorine. Now the basic thing is that what you have to learn, you have to learn that uh, you have to learn that cation. Okay, cation plus anion. Okay, that will give you ionic compound. Okay, clear? Cation yeah. and anion that will give you ionic compound. Clear? So what does it mean? It means that. It means that here you can understand a little bit. Uh, that is uh, yes. I think that uh, red color that is much higher. So cation. Cation is your Na plus, okay? Plus and anion that is Cl minus, okay? That will give you NaCl, okay? So so when uh, cation and uh, anion combine, they they form an ionic compound yes okay or you can also understand in other way that means when ions will combine yes yeah. yeah understand yeah yeah very good that's great Yes, yes, but when students would like to copy, yeah, now come to your main topic. So here it is sodium and oxygen. That's why because mm -hmm. sodium have one electron in its outermost cell. And in the same way that oxygen that has two electron in the outermost cell. Okay. Okay. You can ask me a question that sir, how you are considering that it has two electron in its outermost cell. So mm -hmm. I am writing over here. Just see that. Um, um, uh, uh, okay. So you can see that I am writing oxygen oxygen atomic mm -hmm. number that is 16 okay and its electronic configuration will be 2 8 and 6 okay you are seeing 6 here okay so okay. 6 is here so it will take 2 electron okay okay it is taking it will receive 2 electron Okay, it will receive two yeah. electrons. That's why I'm writing here minus two. Okay. Okay. Because when any element will receive electron, then it will form cata anion. Okay. Anion. Okay. Yeah. Understand? Now, anion. beta, when you will write these two, then you have to write crisscross. You have to apply crisscross. What? Like this, and then like this. So what does it mean? It means that an Na two za Na two and O one za O. So oh, that's yeah, why yeah, it is that. your sodium oxide. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Understand, beta? Yeah. Do you understand clearly? Yeah. Great. That's good. Thank God. Okay. Yes, beta. So thank God to all those students who suggest me. <laughs> to uh, miss prepare video so that it will never be it will always be on my channel and any time that if you are if you are studying any topic related to this one then you can go to my channel and you can see that one Miss neither of you miss any of a student okay and also also that beta it's a very good work if your the student if your friends 
if uh, you can also a little bit you can also a little bit tell your friends about my channel so that yeah. uh, if there are some students who are not able to reach to me so they will go to my channel and when they when they will subscribe then also they will be able to see that what i am explaining to you or any other student okay it will be much convenient for all of you to get maximum marks or indirectly we can say that in other words that just to get efficiency okay <laughs> understand yeah great so now i am scrolling down beta so here beta you can see that magnesium that is your metal okay so magnesium okay. when react it is your highly exothermic okay oh wow one important thing that sir what is exothermic and what is endothermic okay yes yeah. exothermic that means when magnesium will burn okay when magnesium will burn then it will release energy okay okay exothermic uh, very few highlighting colors are there that's why sometimes i feel a little bit problem okay uh, highly exothermic exothermic that means releasing are you able to see this yellow color releasing yeah. heat yeah releasing heat if that will release if the heat will be produced in in the reaction then that is your that reaction will be exothermic and if okay. heat will absorb okay okay if heat will absorb that will be your endothermic but they didn't write that one here okay okay i am writing here endothermic just see here in red in color that will be much convenient for you to understand yeah. endothermic endothermic okay endothermic reaction endothermic reaction that means so you can understand that when when a reaction when a reaction uh means uh, absorb okay absorb heat okay okay so absorb heat from where so from surrounding okay from or surrounding or external source you can write there okay that will be yeah, yeah. convenient yeah because that uh, we don't have to write a specific words from from external source external source yeah understand yeah so that is known as your endothermic okay understand beta yeah great so now so beta carbon that is here you can see that magnesium that is metal highly exothermic that becomes when magnesium will react with okay when magnesium will burn in atmosphere okay or yeah when magnesium will burn in atmosphere so that means in atmosphere you can clearly understand there will be oxygen or not yeah will be oxygen yeah so clearly you have to understand that when magnesium will burn in oxygen in, in the presence of oxygen or in atmosphere it will form magnesium oxide uh, okay. i i am writing that's a reaction over here okay in a yeah here magnesium will react with oxygen then it will form mgo okay yeah. you can ask me one question sir here you are writing mgo but here that you was writing that na2o why because here beta valency of magnesium that is plus 2 and valency of oxygen that is minus 2 so plus 2 and minus 2 they will cancel each other okay so that's why yeah. there will be only mgo clear okay yes and also carbon carbon is a non metal beta so carbon when react with oxygen then it will form carbon dioxide okay so you can okay. see here you can see here um yeah i'm writing reaction downwards okay are you able to see carbon plus oxygen uh, uh. 
Yeah, but it's kind of like blocking. Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I'm writing uh, just here, okay? I'm writing here. I'm writing here, beta. I think that it will be visible to you here, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carbon plus oxygen. Okay, there are two types of reaction. Means two types of reaction. If there will be limited oxygen, okay? Good. Limited, okay? If there will be limited oxygen, then car then carbon will react with oxygen to form carbon monoxide, beta. Okay. Okay. CO. Okay. It is your carbon monoxide. CO. Yeah. Understand? Yeah. And next reaction is that. Next reaction is that. When carbon, when carbon will react, when carbon will react with excess of oxygen, okay, okay, then it yeah. will give you carbon dioxide, okay. Okay. Understand, beta? Yeah. Carbon dioxide. Clear? Yeah. Great. Are you understanding all that which I am explaining? Yeah. Yes. So why I am using highlighter over here? So whatever that is written on a screen that you are able to see and you are able to read carefully or clearly, okay? But whatever yeah. that I am writing here with highlighter, you are also able to see and you are also able, able to read that one, okay? Yeah. Yes. So, yes, so I explain each and everything to you, whatever that is given here, beta. So, I'm going to refresh. Do you understand all that which I explained? Yes. Beta, you have to revise all these one by one. You was asking to explain about the laboratory process of different gases. So, that's why I choose first gas oxygen and I'm explaining the reaction. Firstly, I explain laboratory method. Then I'm explaining here the um, uh, misreaction of oxygen with metal and non-metal to form oxides. Okay? Okay. Yeah, so wait. I am uh, refreshing that so that uh, the new page that we will move there. Yeah, we are here. Now we can move to the third page and let's see that what is given over there. Okay. Yes. Oh, wow. Next gas is your making carbon dioxide. Okay. So, didn't we do this one? Pardon? Didn't we do this one? We did, uh, means, uh, you didn't do this one in your, in your class? Wait, is this the same page, right? No, no, it's not the same oh, page, Bita. Oh, yeah, page. making carbon dioxide. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, that means you can you can understand this one. Okay. Uh, yeah, here you can see that making carbon dioxide. That means it is CO2. Okay. Yeah. 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 CO2. So CO2. That as your previous page, I explained that to you when carbon will react with excess of oxygen. Okay. Okay. Then it will form carbon dioxide. Okay, but mm. that is the common process. That is not your laboratory process. Okay, in laboratory, always remember I am underlining here. Okay, here. Yeah. So just see that here in the laboratory, calcium ca uh, means uh, carbon dioxide that you will get when calcium carbonate and hydrochloric acid will react together okay then they will form carbon dioxide okay understand yeah so a reaction that is also given here a little bit you can see on your screen calcium carbonate that means always remember okay yeah. always always uh, uh, carbonate 
always carbonate and bicarbonate always carbonate carbonate or bicarbonate okay yes. nate forms forms carbon dioxide okay okay always beta remember that one co2 okay yeah it's a key word so that means so when there will be when uh, your teacher would like to ask in your test or exam that uh, write a reaction to prepare carbon dioxide so that means you have to take uh, miss carbonate or bicarbonate as your reactant okay okay so you can see that it is your okay in red in color or yeah here you can see that it is your calcium carbonate okay okay yeah calcium calcium carbonate plus hcl hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid chloric acid why here is writing aqueous because that it can dissolve in water okay yes. calcium carbonate that will be solid in form mm -hmm. okay when they will react then they will form cacl2 that means calcium chloride okay calcium calcium chloride calcium chloride co2 mm -hmm. as usual you know that carbon dioxide dioxide and here it is your water okay so water that will be in liquid form carbon dioxide that will be in gaseous form and cacl2 that will again in aqueous form okay, okay. are you understanding that beta yeah great 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 so now i explain that reaction okay which is your laboratory process to prepare carbon dioxide so here so how will you prepare that you can see that you have to take the mixture of calcium carbonate and hcl in a conical flask okay it is your conical flask conical flask that means in this one there is a mixture of mixture of uh, CaCO3 plus HCl okay yeah that will be here okay and uh, when you would like to heat okay and when the fume starts to come then that would like to transfer through transferring tube okay it is your transferring tube okay okay transferring tube okay sorry tube be one second transferring tube so whatever fume that is coming whatever vapor that is coming it would like to transfer through transferring tube and when it would like to come okay here then you can see that the bubble of co2 okay okay bubble of co2 and then you can see that the carbon dioxide that would like to collect upward so that's why this process is known as downwards displacement okay okay downwards displacement okay clear yeah how would you consider that your collecting gas is carbon dioxide okay how would you consider that your collecting gas is carbon dioxide so the means uh, practically that you can do that okay what you have to do you have to pass your collected gas through lime water okay okay you have to pass i am repeating my words you have to pass your collecting gas through lime water then it will turn lime water milky okay which shows oh. that your gas is your carbon dioxide okay no, yeah understand yeah yeah also it is a little bit soluble in water 
okay and always denser than air okay so okay. this one you have to learn that here i am underlining carbon dioxide is slightly soluble in so water so this experiment we burn carbon dioxide it doesn't like turn smoky yeah yes that's a smoky gas oh, that yes it would yes, like okay. to make fume yes understand yeah yes and understand clearly beta what i explained over here yeah great so yeah you can oh here i think that uh, what they are giving here they are saying that as the carbon dioxide falls out of the delivering tube and into the gas jar it pushes the less dense air out of the top of the gas jar yeah that's right that always remember that less <coughs> whatever will be less dense that will be at the top and whatever will be more dense that will be at the bottom okay good understand good so beta i hope that uh, that is uh, sufficient for today's class you just have to revise all that okay yeah. within yeah. few hours that your class that will upload that okay yeah. one or two hours after that you can see that your class will upload okay on yeah. my channel then you have to revise that okay in your free okay. time okay okay yes and in your next class i would like to ask you about this one what i had explained today to you okay okay so thanks for today beta have a great time and greetings to your okay. parents and okay. please and please if you have friends then you have to tell about my channel to your friends beta also yeah. don't forget to like subscribe or everything okay i think yeah. you know about that okay thanks a lot and have a great time bye bye bye